Welcome, I'm Dr. Tom Warren, and you're watching The Plant Doctor. What I want to show you today is how to get rid of fireweed or burnweed. It has several different common names that we refer to it as, but how to get rid of it in zoysia turf. This will also work for Bermuda grass as well, this same process. Uh, what we're going to be using today is rated for use on zoysia grass as well as Bermuda grass, but fireweed. Fireweed is going to be one of these weeds that we cannot control with the pre-emergent. The reason being is it has the ability to germinate in the thatch layer. It does not need soil contact in order for it to germinate, which makes it very difficult to control with the pre-emergent. The reason being is pre-emergents work with the existing soil to uh, help negate the germination of weeds. There is a, a newer pre-emergent out that has some limited success with controlling fireweed, and that's going to be spectacle. I believe the active in spectacle is uh, called endazaflam. Uh, here on this turf, I, in the past, I've used prodiamine mainly. I've used a little bit of pendimethalin on this turf. I've had really good results with that, but it does not control fireweed and spectacle flow is supposed to give you some control. If you just have a few weeds in your turf, say you just have a couple dozen, given that fireweed does not uh, germinate in the soil, it's in the thatch, you can take it and it just pulls up very, very easy. You can see that right there. I just got the root and all and I didn't have to twist it or anything. It just comes right up out of the ground. So if you just got a few dozen of them, go around and, and pick them. Another thing you can do, say you're cutting it like two inches, lower your mower deck to like an inch and a half and scalp it down and keep it scalped down and eventually they'll die out as well. But I've got a little bit of an outbreak here. I, I probably have several hundred little pieces of, of fireweed here in this turf that we need to take uh, care of. I want to show you the chemical that I'm going to use. I'm going to show you how to spray it. Hang with me until the end and I'm going to show you the post spray results 24 hours afterwards. Let's get started. And so the product that we'll be using is just a three-way, it has 2,4-D and it has dicamba in it. And you can pick this up anywhere. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can buy some off of Amazon and it'll help us out here. Just a smidge on the channel if you use our link. But for this particular concentration of three-way, we're gonna use 0.75 ounces of product to one gallon of water in our tank. I've already got about a half gallon of water in here. I went ahead and put that in. And what I like about this bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here, I'm gonna get close. This one comes with like a, a pre-measuring. You got a half ounce and then you have one ounce. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and squeeze the bottle. Till I get about halfway in between the half and the one ounce. So about right there, I'm gonna take the lid. We're gonna pour that in there. Now that three quarters of an ounce, this bottle gives me a range. So I, I can do three quarters of an ounce all the way up to like 1.2 ounces per thousand square feet of, of water with this product. Being that we're, we're spraying fireweed, Fireweed is very susceptible to 2,4-D. Does not take a lot at all. And when I can, I like to use the bare minimal of product that I can. For one, I'm just not spraying it all over in the environment, but also I'm saving myself a little bit of money as well. So we're gonna put another half gallon of water in this and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna spray some weeds. A pro tip for you before we get to spraying is this before you spray on your turf find an area on like a driveway or a patio and just do a little spray check to see your pattern for your spray i want more of a concentric narrow spray pattern here because one i don't want to spray the entire yard i don't want to miss the entire yard I, i'm hitting very specific spots in the yard two 2,4-D is systemic, meaning that the plants that it affects, it can be taken up by the roots. This is just not a foliar herbicide. So if I put it down in a, in a little bit more concentration right at the base of the plant, 
I'm getting some on the leaf and, and, st and when I'm not misting, when I'm spraying in a very confined spot, some of that's going to get down into the root zone as well. Also, this has been a game changer for me. I did a video on this. This is a Cobalt 40V Max sprayer from Lowe's. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but I love this thing. The, the pumping is for the birds, I'm telling you. Um, this one, you charge it, it's got a battery. You can hear the diaphragm uh, clicking on in there. All right, so there's my spray pattern right there. That's pretty good. I want a little bit more coarse than that. What I don't want, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, is just like a, a misty spray like that where the drift's going everywhere because I'm, I'm spraying in areas I really don't need to spray. So here again, just a very coarse spray, something like that, and that's all, all we need. So now that we have our sprayer nozzle adjusted to how we want it, and we have the right amount of product in the tank, it's just a matter of going around. It doesn't take a lot on each one. We're just gonna spot spray, and I'm just gonna go through here and hit these. If you want to, what you can do is put tracker dye in your tank with your Trimec, and that way you can see where you spray. So tracker dye is gonna be a blue dye you can put in the tank. It does not hurt the turf at all. And yes, you, you're, you may have these little, little spots on your turf that looks like a Smurf may have visited your front yard, uh, but the next time that you mow, they'll go away. So I've, I've hit this area pretty good here. This little area was the worst area in the yard. I'm gonna do the whole front yard. This is just like a quarter of the yard here. I'm gonna go around and do the backyard as well. Uh, use up this gallon of Trimec in the tank. Let's come back in 24 hours and take a look at the results. It does not take long for Trimec to work, especially here today. I had rain earlier today. Trimec works best when plants are actively growing. So this rain we had is gonna to start to promote some growth in the vegetation of these plants. It's gonna warm up tomorrow to like 80 degrees and this stuff's gonna to wanna to try to grow, but the Trimec's gonna kick in. So let's take a look at that 24 hours later. Okay, so it's about a day later. It's uh, about 22 hours after I sprayed. So not technically a day, but close enough to show you the results. You can see here, you can see the burn starting to get some chlorosis in here as well. This one, this is what Trimec does to plants. So it's actually a, a plant growth stimulant. It's a, it's a stimulates or it simulates a hormone in the plant that stimulates the growth. And so weeds will get real leggy like this. So there's a fireweed right there that was sprayed just 24 hours ago. And see how the stems got really long shoots on them and then the leaves tend to wilt over. Here's another one here. Here again, you can see it's starting to die back right here. And this is just 24 hours. Here's another one. You can see right here how that's elongated, that stem's elongated there. There's a good example. And that leaf has wilted over. So it doesn't take much at all when you're spraying Trimec. As always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.